All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to make this video for you guys, uh, my curl workout. So first, as you just saw, I warmed up with the bar for however many reps, probably 25. Um, so the way I get started with my curl workout is a bunch of sets of heavy power curls. Um, so warming up here, we got, what's this? Uh, 67.5 pounds on the bar. The bar weighs 17.5 pounds. It's supposed to be a 20 pound bar, but it's two and a half pounds short. Uh, so I counted as 17.5, not 20. What we have here, 107.5. So that's the equivalent of 45 pounds on each side. So for those of you that think a 45 on each side of a curl bar is a 135 pound curl, you're mistaken. It's more like 105, sometimes uh, maybe 115 if your bar is a 25 pound bar or whatever. So here we have 127.5. My body weight in this video is about 167 to 168 pounds. Um, so here we've added another 10 pounds. This is 137.5 pounds right here. Now as you can see, I'm using a little bit of a cheat form and there's a little bit of sway um, in my curls. So it's not necessarily a completely strict curl, but I try to keep them fairly strict. So here we've added another 10 pounds. Um, so I believe this is 147.5. It's getting pretty heavy. I've been dieting pretty hard this week, uh, trying to make weight for this competition that's coming up. So that is a hundred, I think I've added 10 more pounds, that's 157.5. Um, and again, that's at 167 pounds body weight. My goal uh, is, a, is a body weight strict curl. So we've gone back down to 107.5 for max reps. I think I get 15 reps on this set here. So I put the belt on. Go ahead and give me a like for that uh, 1970s weightlifting belt. That was my dad's belt you know, when he was in the bodybuilding. Um, so I'm kind of using cheat form on this, just trying to get maximum reps. We're going for endurance here. That's the goal of these heavy curls here. All right. So now we're gonna focus a little bit more on the squeeze. We've got the inside grip um, on the other uh, on the other curls. I was using the medium grip, but now I've got the close grip. So we're really focusing on that squeeze, that concentric uh, portion of the movement, trying to squeeze that bicep at the top. So you can notice I'm trying to really put an emphasis on that on that curl. You can see the veins coming out on my forearm, starting to come out on the peak of the bicep. All right, so here I've alternated back out to the medium grip. I'm gonna go ahead and do slow and controlled with the medium grip. This weight here again is 167 point, or no, 67.5 pounds. You can see the veins starting to come out. The blood's definitely rushing into the muscle there. So now I've switched to the furthest outermost grip that I can grip the bar. So I'm almost touching the plates at this point. Um, my thumbs are almost touching the plates. So we're really trying to kind of supinate um, the bias up here and try to hit kind of like the outer, the outer head of it. Let's see what we have here. Oh, so we're going to be doing what I like to call bunny rabbit curls kind of look like a bunny rabbit or a chipmunk or a squirrel when you bring your arms up like that or maybe a t-rex um, but they're really just reverse grip curls we're trying to work um, the forearms here so kind of trying to uh, simulate kind of a hammer curl type motion but just a little a uh, little different variation you can see that big uh, that big vein coming out there on the on the bicep, little little veins starting to branch off of it. Forearms are definitely going to get a good pump off of this. 
You're gonna have your veins coming out when you do these. The goal here is try to try to visualize squeezing the blood into the muscle. So I'm trying to visualize the pump and really focus on that slow contraction, trying to get that blood into that muscle there. This is one of my favorite uh, forearm workouts. And what I'm doing here is I'm gripping on the top of the, uh, so where the grooves are, instead of gripping where your hand is supposed to be, I'm gripping on like the point, the corner of the groove. So now I'm, I'm switching back out to that super far grip. There's no plates on it this time, so I can grip it super wide. Again, the point of this is to kind of supinate the bicep and hit like a different angle of the bicep, hit a different head um, that you don't usually hit when you're doing curls. So switching back in to the close grip there. I mean, as you can see, there's no weight on the bar. I'm just trying to get that blood into the muscle. Getting a nice pump, though. Right, what do we have here? Probably more... Uh, yeah, more reverse grip curls, trying to get a good angle for you guys. Look at the size of that bicep, holy shit. God, I'm such a douchebag. Look at me flexing my tricep when I hit that negative. You can see the forearm that's furthest away from the camera there, definitely getting a nice uh, vascularity going. Changing grips. I think we're hitting a close grip again. Yes sir. I like to hit those immediate uh, those immediate alterations and grip um, with no rest in between. Just try to hit the hit the muscle while it's already got blood squeezed in there really really try to emphasize the pump on on my arm workouts the key for me has been really trying to keep a balance between you know the heavy compound movements um, where I'm not really focusing as much on the squeeze and I'm really focusing more on generating force uh, with the biceps and with the arms um, and keeping that balance with the high rep uh, concentric squeezing bicep workouts. So here we have obvious uh, bicep curls with no supination so a lot of people might twist their wrists when they come to the top um, but I'm just trying to keep a straight up and down curl. Nice and lightweight, 35's I think, maybe 30's. Now I'm gonna immediately alternate the hammer curls like I said, I like to keep that pump, I like, like to keep that blood in the muscle, I like to keep things rolling. So here, what are we about to do, Nicholas? Probably just another set of bicep curls with the dumbbells. And I'm going to go on after these to briefly train back. Uh, you guys know, you know, I have a back injury going on right now, so I didn't really want to show my back workout because it was pretty pathetic. Um, I've been doing a lot of super light weights, uh, really high reps, um, not a whole lot of compound stuff for back like I used to. I'm um, just really trying to recover, man, and not trying to stress out my back too much. So thanks for watching. As always, add me on Snapchat. My username is DankNick. I'd be more than happy to have you guys follow me. It would make my day. So thanks for watching, guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.